I invested £25,000. Today, that investment is worth £5 million. Say hello to our hero, the Hydrogen Energy Release Optimizer. Limitless power, zero emissions. Take the first step towards online privacy. Get NordVPN. Hi everybody, this is Crypto Rich, working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. I am joined by Tom Luongo of Gold, Goats and Guns. I'll have all the links in the description below. And we're going to start by doing some Bitcoin technical analysis first. I'm going to do it, and then he's going to tell me where I'm wrong. <laughs> I can't help myself. Good morning, Rich. How are you? Uh, good afternoon, good. whatever. Morning, yeah, yeah, yeah. how are you? That's right. Um, and I, I'll, I'll try and I'll try and I'll try and be kind because I haven't had enough coffee yet this morning to like. You know, <laughs> I'm sure you will to be to be enthusiastic about anything. <laughs> and then we're going to talk about who knows where the stuff with global politics and macro politics and every, all the craziness that's going on in the world currently, and it's just going to get crazier now. Most of this video, the bulk of this video, is not going to be on YouTube because YouTube's far too sensitive and touchy for some of the stuff that I cover. Please do come and support me on Odyssey, bit bit.ly slash crypto rich Odyssey. See, where you'll find the rest of this this, this whole show. Also, follow me on Twitter, Crypto HYT. Join my official Telegram announcements channel. I have the links to Tom's work, Tom Luongo.me, and his Twitter. His Twitter is very, very funny. It's very, very funny. I posted something today, Tom, that I think you'd like. Uh, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't at you. It was. Um, the you have to at me because I because I, I only interact with Twitter. Under, under, understand? I really only act with, uh, interact with Twitter through the, my notifications feed. I don't have time to actually look at my normal feed. I never. I have no idea. People complain that they don't get. Oh, I never see this guy because of my thing. I never see anybody's thing in my feed. Like because okay. I never actually look at the feed. I don't have time. I have to. I spend enough time with Twitter to like you know to tweet itself and then respond to notifications because I. I'd let me let me, me just, let me just show you. Let me find it then. Sure. Because this just cracked me up something good and proper oh yeah no i saw that one on the <laughs> slack server this morning it's hilarious <laughs> how much does yeah the, the the title of that is how much does your life suck like, <laughs> oh my cats really are ungovernable <laughs> yeah they really are they just don't give a shit. well like, you know and it's funny I, I mean you know as we as we roll this back like you gotta remember that cats aren't these tiny little things that are cute and nice and cuddly and everything. They're just miniature tigers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's all they are. I mean, that's how they, it, they see the world exactly the way a tiger does. Everything is mine. You are all, you know, my subjects and this is my domain and you're here to serve me. That's and right. It's, it, it's, it's not, it, it's no, it's not bullshit. I'm, that's not even comedy. That's like, that's just the way cats view the universe and tigers, especially view the universe this way, because you know, Who's going to argue with them? <laughs> like, you know, I'm reminded yeah. of Shere Khan in the Jungle Book, in Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book, not not the Disney mm -hmm. P POS. Okay, let's let's go to the Bitcoin so, USD chart, right? So I'm starting with the monthly chart. Just look at the general trend. Nice. Yes. We're in the we're not out of February yet, but it's looking bullish. Something major would need to happen for us to go down, and then we go to the weekly chart. Mm -hmm. I use more indicators than you. Um, yes. Right up. But you were able to see magic. I don't use any. Now, yeah, here's the 200 weekly EMA, the green one. Yep. Oh, and yeah, there you go. It hasn't gone above it. It's still, I think oh. it's going to be in this range. It's got to break above and close above 25K at the end of the day tomorrow. Uh, no, today. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, end of the well, day, uh, end of Sunday. That's how yeah. I do it week to week, right? And then what we have, what do we have? We've broken out of this long downtrend here. Uh, that, is that RSI on the bottom? Yeah, that's the RSI, okay. it, and it's kind of okay. And it's not oversold, and it's not over. It's not overbought. It's oversold. Something I saw on the monthly chart is the decline in volume, and I know you talk about that a lot on yeah, your yeah. videos, right? Lack yeah. of liquidity, but this also suggests that there's a breakout coming out at some point. No, the, the breakout's already there. No, I mean a big breakout. Oh well, then you have to go out to the quarterly chart for to, to tell you that you got a big breakout coming, right? Right. I don't. But I don't, you know, hold the on, most chart. This is my bit. This is my bit. Yeah, yeah. You can correct me after. Sorry. This no, no. Is, I was yeah. just going to. All I was going to say is that most for the for the audience, most charting, you have to build your own quarterly charts because they don't have a quarterly option in all of this, and so you have to take monthly data and aggregate it in Excel on three month data, create open, high, low, and close, and then and then chart it, which you can do. I do it for my patrons all the time. So. Yeah. 
which would be smart for people to become your patrons. Okay, mm. this is the weekly chart. I want to actually one thing I noticed on the weekly chart is a double bottom here. Yeah, that's a, it's a it's a very solid consolidation pattern down there. And then here the daily chart. So this is where we're at, and I couldn't really, I can't, I couldn't see much here other than it's above the two hundred daily EMA. The, it's the, the daily chart just looks like a nice, a nice solid breakout. I can't, I don't have my, I, I, I can put my cursor over, but you all can't see it. There's a nice breakout back here in the early part of January. Uh, once you break above seventeen eight, the the highs at the from the middle of December, it's off to the races. You run right smack dab into one of these moving averages. Because they're self fulfilling prophecies, we get a five, we get five, a few, four or five days worth of consolidation. Another, imp, another up impulse, trade sideways, take some profit, bounce off support, go higher. Yeah. It's kind of straight, standard the, technical. Now yeah. this is the four hourly chart, and here's what I can see on the four hourly chart, mm -hmm. which is a, a possible possible inverted head and shoulders. So we've got one shoulder here, uh, the head here, and another shoulder developing here, and it's just below the twenty five k. And yep. this could, this could, it could close above 25K. Yeah, it, this afternoon. Timing before the week is up tomorrow. Yeah, possible. And that is bullish. That, that is would, oh yeah, no, I, I move above 25. I move above the, uh, the, the, the neckline of what you've identified here um, would be in, insanely bullish. All right. Yeah. And the main reason why the falling volume is important is because, um, you know, the, the on-chain statistics are telling you that people have just moved their money off of the big exchanges. There aren't, there is no Bitcoin liquidity. And because there's no Bitcoin liquidity, they can't play games with the futures market like they do in gold and silver. But the thing is, is that Jordan. when there's a high amounts of liquidity, then the futures market can be used as a piggy bank to get dollars. And since there are no cat, there are no on-chain settled futures contracts, nor an on-chain settled e daily e uh, ETF, where we don't have that kind of liquidity in Bitcoin. And notice that Gary Gensler refuses to give us that. And I'm going to share my screen. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, um, I have enough bandwidth to do this in such a way that it will actually show up and look good. All right. Uh, can you all see that? How does it look? It looks good. We can see your That's better. We can see your All right. So, again, I'll just do the big thing. All right. So, um, you know, I'm not, a, I don't, I don't, me, I don't ever do daily charts because I just, I mean, unless you're, unless you're a day trader, it's irrelevant. Um, and I don't play around with moving averages and whatnot. But, you know, when other people show them to me, like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, look, that's a thing. Okay, so this is a very simple analysis of what's going on. So um, looking at the, the situation on the downtrend, going way back into, you know, June, clearly oh, we had a big, what's that? Minimum, I'm just joined. Minimum, I'm going to interrupt you. Okay, or a new carry on. Okay, minimum. And I, 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 thank, you, thank you for joining us. Um, I found my Sorry, guys, I, I, was, I, was, uh, I was connected with Alex in Athens. We had some important things to talk about. That's no worries. Be like. All right, so you're I'm going to finish up the, I'm gonna finish up the, the analysis on Bitcoin for the rest of the video, and then we'll go forward. With the yep. three of us. All right. So, you know, looking at the situation in Bitcoin as on the weekly chart, there's a number of ways of looking at it, depending on how you would like to um, break this down. But let's break the chart down into like a couple of major areas. You have the big downtrend from last summer culminating in the lows in, in June. And then a bottom forms. We get no, we get a, a nice, we get a, an ugly little uptrend here that doesn't really do anything because it doesn't negate this big, huge down bar in June. So therefore, sets up for a reversal, closing below this low of the last bar in this week uptrend, and then we get further degradation. We go back, we create a double bottom. So what's happening here is effectively this is this was consolidation and effectively a consolidation zone. Just saying, look, yeah. Bitcoin's lost any impulse to go lower here because if it was going to go lower um, significantly, it would have done so in these weeks back in October. It didn't. When we got the FTX collapse, it went lower. Tried to break out, but not. It's not really a breakout. It's just churning. This is just churn, and then FTX happens, and then we get historic low volatility on Bitcoin. Like this is six sigma, minus six sigma weekly um, volatility on Bitcoin. What that tells you is that there are no sellers because we've done the big sell, so there are no sellers left. And you know, looking at the on-chain statistics from what I've having talked to professionals in the market about this, they're like, yeah, all, all the money left the exchanges after FTX. So as I said earlier in this, there is no liquidity uh, in Bitcoin, physical liquidity. The all you, all you have are the miners selling into the market to cover their fixed costs. And without liquidity, you don't have the ability to lever up and speculative bets against Bitcoin to bomb it further. The exchanges have no liquidity. Therefore, um, when there's any kind of move in, if there's any kind of move at that point, it can only be bullish. Because if somebody comes in and buys, well, it's going to move the price because there's no liquidity. It's mm -hmm. just like buying a penny stock 
At this point, Bitcoin's trading no differently than uh, a low liquidity or low interest penny stock, where there's not a whole lot of people in there trading, where there might be 10 people interested in the stock on any day. On any day, And it's, you get a recommendation from a guy writing a gold newsletter and you go, I want to buy that stock. And you go in and you find out you're the entire market for the day. Right. This is kind of what this bar represents from from five weeks ago. So now the interesting part about it is if you take this, if you take this as the low and this area that you know Rich has identified in the 24.5, 24.6 range as the high, well, clearly you can draw a nice big box around all of this. And all you're waiting for is a weekly breakout and close above that level. So as of right now, all this has done is just said, okay, well, we've pushed up against the, the current weekly trend, uh, the current weekly consolidation area. Now we move out to the monthly chart, and this is where it gets interesting. And what Rich noted earlier is that here's the big long downtrend in Bitcoin. This is massive, right? Mm. But note that once we get to the last down bar in the trend, we get a massive reversal signal in January. Where we close above the high of the last down bar in the in the trend, this is a reversal signal. And then so very simply, we get follow through action. We break the we break January's high. We go nowhere near January's low. This is very constructive behavior. It is very, and so and then that same consolidation pattern we saw on the weekly chart that looks like this propagates itself in the monthly chart and looks like this. Now the question is: Is this a quarterly breakout? And so if you back up and you consider this quarterly, well. Yeah, this is kind of interesting because now we've got, this is Q4. So this is the high of Q4. This is the low. This is where it opened. So you can visualize the Q4 low here. And here's January and February. All you have to do in order to throw have this information, this price movement, right? This impulse bar here, which is propagated as a breakout in on the weekly chart and now the monthly chart. All you have to do for 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 the end of March is the close above this twenty one? Well, this twenty. This is this is the high. This is the Q four high eleven, twenty one six, and we're twenty four five, twenty four six this morning. So this can we can churn for another eight weeks, and it would still be a massive long term bullish breakout off of the bottom in Bitcoin. That's what you need to know. The bottom is in, folks. Now the question is. Is the new bull market going to start? And the what Rich and I both agree on is that any move on a weekly closing basis will above the top of the consolidation area yeah. is a, your signal that the bull market is beginning again. Okay. And, and you, not, because it will signal. propagate through the monthly and the quarterly chart, doing away with any bearish signals on and reversing and negating any bearish signals on those charts, yeah. which is the key, the key thing. But until that happens, you can't say that. So you have to just kind of wait. Until that happens, until you get to the end of Q1, and then you can be like, yeah, no, if you're not buying Bitcoin, we're both this, you're a moron. Yeah, very good. Very good. And something I can see before I turn to Alex for his Bitcoin technical analysis is there is a megaphone pattern forming like here. Well, you can't see on the weekly. And that's mm. that's bullish. But anyway, yeah. now, Alex, your turn at Bitcoin technical analysis. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Alex. How are you, sir? Good morning. Well, uh, well it's afternoon here, yeah, but good afternoon, and I'm very well, thank you. Yes. Good to, good to have you. Okay, now the rest of this video where we talk about some of the stuff that's going on in the world, because there's far too much stuff going on in the world, right? But a lot of it... No, is, there's nothing happening. I, I, I've got to uh, go. Well, that was, that was last month's video when, when we had talked about nothing, right? Yeah, this yeah. one we might talk about... It was an episode nothing. of Seinfeld. Yeah, that's going to, you know, I, I imagine the United States, Ukraine, definitely want to talk about what's happening in the UK. And I know there's something happening in Pakistan, but I have not been managed to do an interview with Manib to find out. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just what's going on in the world, the rest of that is mm -hmm. going to be on Odyssey. So please come over to Odyssey, bit.ly slash Crypto Rich Odyssey. I'll have the link to the video in the description below. And we shall continue there.